Defeating poverty is the ultimate dream of every politician, or at least that's what they say. Many leaders have waged a war on poverty, but it's always been a war of rhetoric. Tall claims and promises that people forget after a few years. The world has enough resources to beat this menace, but it continues to fester. Tens of thousands are still born into poverty every year. Our next report tells you what's ailing the global war on poverty. This administration today, here and now, declares unconditional war on poverty in America. It was America's most popular war, also one of its most resounding defeats. In their defense, it was the perfect slogan. War made it seem like a precisely planned mission, and poverty was the perfect villain. In the next 50 years, America did become rich, but many Americans remained poor. A few years later, in 1971, Indira Gandhi gave a similar election slogan in India. It said, Garibi Hatao, meaning remove poverty. It remained just a slogan. The world soon joined this war, possibly the only time when global interests converged. All the resources in the world available at their fingertips. Yet, poverty lingered. Today, nearly 10% of the world lives in poverty. That's more than 700 million people. Helping them is not beyond our joint efforts. It's not the means that is lacking, but the will. Poverty is the result of multiple factors, most of them within human control. In the barren wastes of sub-Saharan Africa and the malaria-infected jungles of West Africa, war perpetrates poverty. Without peace, poverty elevation is not possible. It becomes difficult to dispatch aid. And there's always the risk of resources falling into the wrong hands. The solution is a global ceasefire. But world leaders have repeatedly failed to approve this proposal. They are invariably party to the struggle. More importantly, are politicians even interested in eliminating poverty? One thing is clear. All the sloganeering works. The promise to end poverty is the ultimate stump. But if the poor are rescued, who do you make promises to? Politicians love pretending to be champions of upliftment. That poverty exists works to their advantage. So every time there's an election around the corner, poverty is back on the docket. Leaders visit shanties that would otherwise disgust them, distribute food that they would never eat themselves. It's a playbook as old as politics itself. Wooing the poor is a classic poll strategy. Since poverty is so widespread, the poor inevitably form a sizable vote bank. Offer them hope and their support is yours. The story of global poverty is a story of rising inequality. From 1990 to 2015, giant strides were made. Extreme poverty fell from 36% to 10%. In almost half the world's nations, the poverty rate dropped below 3%. But regional disparities grew. Nowhere is this more visible than in Africa. Even with maximum intervention, poverty will remain in double digits here. Once every two decades or so, the world will encounter a catastrophe like the Wuhan virus pandemic. This will derail anti-poverty measures. Poverty is a menace that fights back. Economists often call it the vicious cycle. The more we delay this global offensive, the bigger it becomes. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.